Yes, this is a thoroughly amateur production. It's whiskey for beginners. Let me adjust myself and the laptop so that you can get a semi-decent picture of me. I'm Robert McKay. This is a thoroughly amateur channel. It's uh, exactly what the title says. It's for beginners in whiskey. And although I dislike this kind of thing, I will ask you to subscribe to the channel, to click like on the video, to click the notification bell, because that way it helps the information in this channel to get out to more people. And there are beginners who are looking for what this channel provides. I know because I started the channel because I couldn't find anything like this channel. Information for beginners in one place. Hit the right buttons on the keyboard. The subject of this video is, as with all of them, it's the answer to a question. What are your five favorite whiskeys? Or what are my five favorite whiskeys? I want to preface the list by saying that my favorites are not necessarily the best for a beginner to try. And I'm going to do another video here at some point on the best five whiskeys for beginners. But these are the favorites that I have after today is the 20th, exactly two years of drinking whiskey. And the first one is from Balcones Distilling in Waco, Texas. It's Texas Pot Still Bourbon. This is a 92 proof whiskey. It's a, 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 a four grain mash bill. It's got uh, corn, of course, Texas blue corn in this case, uh, rye and barley, which are typical, and wheat also. And this is very flavorful, very dense, very smoky and sweet and oaky. It's not going to be for everyone. There are people who like bourbon, who like whiskey, but who don't like this. I love it. It's my favorite. has been since December of 2021, but a lot of people don't. My next favorite, the number two, is Knob Creek Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. And by the way, unless I say otherwise, what I'm listing is a straight whiskey. This comes from the Jim Beam Distillery up in Kentucky. That's why they call it Kentucky straight bourbon and I've done a review I can't remember offhand whether I have uploaded it already by the time I upload this I almost certainly will have I've done a review of the Jim Beam white label their basic whiskey and if you didn't know better you would think that Jim Beam and Knob Creek come from two completely different distilleries but in fact it's the same outfit this is 100 proof, which might be a little much for a beginner. And it is absolutely delicious whiskey. The standard expression is, is as good as some bottled in bond expressions I've had. Next, in the number three position, I'm going from favorite down the list. Maybe I should have done it backwards. Some people do. The number three position is Woodford Reserve Double Oak bourbon and this is also from Kentucky there's a, an interesting history behind the distillery it operated and closed and it was abandoned for years and they restarted it but this they, they age it the standard way that's that way they have to in a new charred oak barrel but then they take it out of that and put it in a second barrel and they toast that barrel before they char it. And let me explain that. Charring is where you shoot flame up through the barrel or if it's on its side out through the barrel and it lights the inside of the barrel on fire and it chars the wood, makes it essentially into charcoal. Toasting is where there's a flame, but it doesn't shoot up. It just heats the wood without charring it. And the two processes do different things chemically to the wood so that you get different flavors from each. 
And so uh, Woodford reserves, fires the barrel, ages the whiskey in it, then takes another barrel, toasts it heavily, but chars it lightly and puts the whiskey in that to finish. And it gets you some amazing flavors. And it was from learning this about this particular whiskey that I found out something about that Balconis bourbon I mentioned, the number one. Balconis distilling habitually, all their barrels, they toast them first, then they char them. And that's why when I first tasted this Woodford Reserve Double Oak, I thought it tasted a lot like the Balconis bourbon, and I still do think so. Number four is Elijah Craig bourbon from Kentucky and this comes out of Heaven Hill which is the largest family-owned distillery in the United States uh, you know Jim Beam is owned by I think it's Sazerac uh, Brown Foreman owns uh, Jack Daniels and Old Forester Diageo now owns Balconis and you know you have these international uh, I take it back, Jim Beam is Beam Suntory. I don't know why I was thinking Sazerac. That's Buffalo Trace. But you have these big international conglomerates owning distilleries all over the world. But the Shapira family, and it's not just a southern pronunciation, they spell it S-H-A-P-I-R-A. -A. The Shapira family has owned Heaven Hill from the beginning, and they still do. And they produce, among others, Elijah Craig. This is 94 proof. And there are some people who don't care much for it, but it's number four on my favorite list. And you'll notice I haven't been giving prices. I intended to, but I wound up not doing it. And if I give you the price here, then you're going to go to your store and find a different price almost certainly. But these are not uh, terribly expensive. The, the most expensive one, I think, as I look back over the list, is going to be like $32 here. So you're, you're not talking a ton of money. Then uh, that was four. Then number five on this list, the, my fifth favorite, which means it's still one of my favorites, is Four Roses Small Batch Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Now, Four Roses has three basic expressions. There's the regular, what some people I still call the yellow label, although it's not yellow anymore. That's 80 proof. And they have 10 recipes that they all blend together in that one. Then it, they, there's this small batch, which has four of the 10 recipes. And then there's their single barrel, which has, I think it's six recipes. I'm not sure. But anyway, those are their three basic ones, and, and this uh, small batch is, is on my favorites list. It's 90 proof. It has four of the ten recipes, and it, it's good stuff. I actually like it better than I like the Four Roses Single Barrel. So those are my five favorite whiskeys, and... In fact, you'll notice they're all bourbon. As I've gone on, I've found that I prefer bourbon. The name of the channel is Whiskey for Beginners. I'm going to keep it that way because there's information about not just bourbon, but various other kinds of whiskey. But I do prefer bourbon. Now, I, I'm going to do some experimenting with rye as I can. Uh, I found that there are some high rye bourbons, bourbons with a lot of rye in the recipe that I like. And so I suspect I'll, I'll like rye whiskey but i am a bourbon guy and so what i'm what my favorites are what i recommend is bourbon but you can try all sorts of other things those are just my five favorites you may not like them it may not be or you may not be ready yet to try them but those are my favorites just in case you were interested